Hey there, friends. Hey there. Hey. Starting the day right here at the Dead Sea with a little coffee. Hello to your friends. Hi, mail's been coming at you from the beautiful land of Israel. Yes, behind me is the Dead Sea. It's full of salt, and yes, you can float on it. Uh, I've done that many times. Watch, be careful it doesn't get in your eyes. It's quite salty. Um, you know, I slept in Getty last night, and uh, down there in the desert, uh, alongside the Dead Sea, and uh, behind me, of course, is what they call the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, just over, over that puddle. And uh, what, what the Bible calls it is the mountains of Gilead, mountains of Israel, the mountains of, of where the tribe of Gad lived. Very interesting. So, you know, reading in Ezekiel 47, and I'm, and I'm looking at this and I'm saying, wow, the Bible says that in, in a temple yet to be built, the Ezekiel temple, that there's the, going to be this guy who's going to start noticing water coming forth from underneath the temple. And he'll measure it, he'll measure the water, and always the water will raise and raise and raise up ankles to his knees, his waist, and over his head, and eventually that water will flow down right here to the Arama. It'll, it'll flow right into this sea, and it says every, it, the sea will be healed, and every fish, every, uh, every swimming aquatic creature that live in fresh water will be able to live here, because this sea will be healed. And uh, it talks about at En Gedi, there'll be fishermen. You know, can we believe for these prophecies to really come true? I mean, right now, I don't think anything could live in this. It's too salty. But uh, it's certainly fun to come and play in it uh, and swim in it. But here's my, my uh, question. If we can believe that God is bringing the Jewish people from the north, the south, the east, and the west, bringing them home to Israel, and we're seeing that, I'm one of them, we can believe for all the prophecies, and they will come true. And not only will this sea be healed, but the entire land of Israel will become a, a blessing in the earth. Uh, as it always was meant to be, and uh, Jerusalem won't be a stumbling block for the nations, but it will be a praise in the earth. So as we come up to towards Jerusalem's golden anniversary, 50 years since the liberation of Jerusalem, I'm excited to say, let's be about the prophetic.